So this first leather jacket style, I absolutely love it because it works with so many different body types and the vast majority of men do not have it in their wardrobe. What style am I talking about? The flight jacket, specifically the bomber. Now, as the name implies, this jacket has a storied history coming out of the military. It was made to provide insulation when you were flying at high altitudes in cockpits that were either non-pressurized or simply weren't heated. Now, key style characteristics of a bomber are going to be the elastic around the waist and at the end of the sleeves at the wrist points. The purpose of this design was to keep the heat in and keep the cold out. Now, you notice the elastic hits right at the waist. So, this is a shorter jacket, which gives you a lot of freedom of movement and notice you got a more generous cut in the jacket. And that's what makes this great for so many different body types. Now, there is a caveat with the muscular body type. If you are top heavy and you skip leg day, in this case, you want to be careful with this jacket because it can't over exaggerate your upper body. All that being said, the bomber style jacket is an excellent choice for most body types. And if you really want to stand out, look for it in suede. It's going to add a little bit more depth, a little bit more weight to the overall look of the jacket, but it's definitely going to stand out. Now, throughout this video, gents, you're going to see a number of charts. You're going to see some great images. If you want more down in the description of today's video, I'm going to link over to the support article, which is going to go into this in more detail. In addition, all these beautiful jackets that you're seeing in today's video, you can grab over at JL Rocha, the sponsor of today's video. Now, if you haven't heard of JL Rocha, they're a Mexican owned family business coming out of the Guanajuato area, but they have a factory down in Leon. And what's amazing is the quality, the workmanship, the attention detail they put into their jackets. Check out their icon jacket. If you haven't seen, this is their heavy duty riding jacket. It's using a vegetable tanned calfskin that is 1.4 millimeters thick. This is a thick, heavy jacket that is perfect. If you ride a bike, if you want a jacket that is going to take a little bit of a while to break in, this jacket is going to outlast you. In addition, this jacket is using Ruby Star zippers and they're only making a hundred in each size. So, go over, make sure you grab one guys. And if that's not your style, check out their selection of suede jackets. I love suede because again, so many guys are scared to wear it. But here's the thing, you wear this into a club, you wear this into a bar, you wear this just to a meet up with friends, you are going to get compliments. People are going to look at the way this jacket it fits on you, just the way it touches, it feels. Yeah, they're going to want to get close. Suede jackets are where it's at. So, again, gents, use that link in the description of today's video. Go over to JL Rocha, take advantage of this offer. It will not be around forever. Awesome deal. Next leather jacket style I want to talk about, the asymmetrical zip jacket. And this is one that doesn't get a lot of attention, but I love it because of the V shape we've got here right on the chest. Now, there is an actual functional purpose of having the zipper over on one side. And that is simply when you're riding a motorcycle, you're being exposed to air hitting you right in the chest. You want to make sure that, hey, if you just had a straight zipper up and down, it could have penetration with that air and it could cool you down. Instead, what they're looking to do is to better insulate, provide warmth and protection and so, you've got that extra layer of leather that has an overlap here and it just does a better job of keeping the air out. Now, that functional purpose is cool, but what I really love is the fact from a stylistic point of view and the way that lines work, this builds up the chest and it slims up the waist area. Now, if you've got a really heavy build, you've got a large stomach, you've got to first make sure the jacket is going to fit you there. It's not going to be able to work wonders, but it would be good as a motorcycle jacket if you want protection. But the only build I would say that has to be careful with this is the guy that already has large shoulders and a high drop. What I'm talking about with the drop is basically you've got a very small waist, you've got big shoulders, you spend a lot of time in the gym and it shows. You want to be careful with this jacket style because it could make you look like a cartoon character. That being said, for the vast majority of body types, especially for those of you that don't have the body of Adonis, yeah, this is just going to simply make you look better. Definitely for that dad bod, it's going to build up the shoulders, it's going to make the hands look larger, it's going to slim up the silhouette. Just a great look. You just got to nail the fit. Now, I alluded to it earlier, but I want to go into a little bit more detail about the difference between suede and straight up leather when it comes to body type. It doesn't make a difference. It's very slight, but suede, I think, adds a bit of weight. It adds a bit of texture. So, if you've got a thinner build, if you have a regular build and you just want a jacket that's going to make you look a bit more substantial, then definitely lean towards suede. That being said, straight up leather, especially if you're riding, you want something that's more durable, something that can deal with the elements, you definitely want to go over towards leather because leather jackets are made 
need to be just tougher on the outside. Now, what about for you big, heavy guys? What's going to be the perfect style for you? So, when it comes to leather jackets, most styles are not going to complement you unless you nail the fit. But there is one style that actually is going to work for a wide variety of heavier set guys, and that is the blouse and style. And the reason being is this has relatively a straight drop. It's also got a collar right on it. This jacket right here, for most designs that are coming out, it's going to work with the heavier guy. So, if you've got a circular shape, if you've got a pear shaped, it's going to give a little bit of weight, a little bit of substantial, you know, heft to the shoulders. And for the guy that is stout and straight, hey, this is going to fit your body frame. So, really, the blousen is a great option if you're a heavier guy. And what if you've got a regular normal body type? You're 5'9", 165 pounds. In that case, yes, the blousen will complement you, but I think there are better styles out there for you. Where you got to be careful is if you're on the thinner side, if you're really fit and lean, you're a runner. Then, in this case, a lot of blousen designs, they need to be brought in to actually complement the build. And because leather and suede is difficult to work with, I'm thinking there are other styles you may want to go towards. You can still try to pull this off, but I do feel if, unless you're going to layer with it, it can be a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a heavier, just, yeah, not the right look for you. I'd go for something that's closer fitted. So, what's the closer fitted option? Check out the Harrington. Now, per definition, a blousen and a Harrington are right next to each other. They're cousins, and oftentimes they're labeled one thing or the other. But for this video, I'm going to say a Harrington has a little bit of a slimmer profile. And this is great, again, because we just talked about this one is not going to work for the heavier guys. It's going to be more difficult. That being said, for the skinnier guys who the blousen didn't work for, the Harrington is going to be perfect. So, if you've got a thin build, if you've got a regular build, if you even have a dad bod, the Harrington is a great option for you. And stylistically, very similar to the blouse, and it's going to have those open pockets, although notice it's not going to have the collar. So, it's going to have a little bit of a sleeker design up on top, and that here is really the only big difference you're going to see in these styles, but overall, a clean, just timeless design. Now, really quick, let's talk color. When it comes to suede, when it comes to leather, it's mostly going to be brown and black. But there are many variations of brown, from a light colored tan to a very dark chocolate brown. In general, I find that darker colors are going to work for most men because they just simply are going to be more versatile and they're going to have more slimming effects. Lighter colored jackets aren't going to be as versatile, but if you already have a few jackets in your wardrobe, you want something that's going to help you stand out from the crowd, something that's going to, yeah, just simply get a little bit of attention, then give them a shot. Now, which color is best? I think for most men, starting off with a black leather jacket is easy. But if you don't want to go that route, dark brown or like this jacket right here that is a dark blue. It's beautiful actually in the light, just a really unique jacket. That being said, if you've already got a style, a color in your wardrobe, and I said it didn't work for your body type, here's the thing. You know, wear with confidence because you probably already are. And here's the thing confidence is going to help you overcome so much of this. If you get that fit right, if you feel good in that jacket, then to hell with my advice. Wear what you want, man. Now, that last jacket style, the Harrington, you may say that looks really similar to a moto. And I have to say that that Harrington did definitely steal some characteristics from the moto jacket. But in general, the big separation is going to be the zippers on the pockets, sometimes on the chest area, and usually you're going to have a flap that's going to seal up around the neck. Now, the classic moto jacket can also come in the asymmetrical zipper type of style, but this jacket, as the name implies, is for a simple, clean racer type of jacket. Cafe racers, you know, that's where they popped up historically. But these jackets are just simple. They get the job done. They provide a layer of protection. And really, I just think that they're clean, good looking motorcycle jackets. If you've got a thin build, if you've got a regular build, or you've got a stout build, I think that you can really pull off the jacket. It looks good. Now, a round guy, again, depending on the cut and the overall fit of the jacket, he could possibly pull this off. But again, you've got to nail the fit. But for a guy, that has a really muscular build, heavy shoulders. Again, you've got to make sure that it isn't too close of a fit. Otherwise, it's going to look comical. As for the dad bod, the pear-shaped guy, guess what? This jacket is your friend, especially when you've got a little bit of padding up in the shoulders like this jacket right here. Look at that. That is going to build up the shoulders. It's going to help provide just a little bit of extra attention to the eyes in that area. And yes, you've got that extra, you know, 10, 20, maybe 40, 50 pounds around the midsection. You've got those skinnier shoulders 
numbers, but this is going to even you out and really is a great look for you. Now, gents, if you enjoy videos like this, if you found it informative, do me a favor and smash that like button. I love creating videos like this, but I need to hear from you to know, should I create more body type videos and talk about different garments and stuff? So, I want to hear from you guys. Smash that like button, please. I appreciate it. Next up, let's talk about jacket design when it comes to pockets, when it comes to stitching, when it comes to design. How is this going to affect what body type you can actually wear the jacket with? So, it really depends on what are these doing for the overall profile, for the silhouette, for the build of that jacket and how are they affecting the direction the eyes are going to go. So, as I talked about with the asymmetrical jacket, it basically builds out that chest. But what if you've got large pockets? on the front, on the top, on the bottom, this is going to give an extra bit of weight, especially if those pockets are patch pockets. Patch pockets are the type of pockets sewn onto the top of the leather. What if you've got lines going across? You've got contrast stitching. Well, again, depending on where this is at, as we see right here in the shoulders of this jacket, this is going to draw our eyes upward. It's going to draw attention to the shoulders. So, even if there isn't any padding in there, it's going to just make the shoulders look more pronounced. Now, when is that good? When is it bad? Well, if you are a thinner guy, if you are a regular guy and you want a jacket that's going to add a little bit more weight to you, definitely check out the field jacket right here. Now, the field jacket, this comes out, you know, African Safari, that's initially where it's designed for. It was made in a fabric. It transitioned over to leather and what's really nice about these jackets is how many different body types they fit because of the length. Notice how this jacket fully covers the backside. It's longer than most of those other leather jacket styles we see. Therefore, it's going to bring the strength of making your upper body look more proportional. This is great whether you have a round build, whether you've got the whole pear shaped dad bod thing going. If you are a skinny guy, a regular guy, this is going to make you look good. But again, you've got to get the fit and the key here is finding the right style for you. If you're a heavier set guy, I'm going to lean towards, you know, a darker color. If I am a thinner guy, I think that you could easily pull off lighter color in this style. In fact, the only man I think needs to be careful about wearing a field style jacket is a short guy. If you're five foot three, if you're a bit shorter than that, make sure it's not too long. It should cover just the curvature of your buttocks. If it doesn't do that, then all of a sudden, yeah, it's just going to be too long. It's not going to look right. If you're six foot, if you're six foot three, you may want to make sure it's long enough, but that's rarely a problem. I guess it may be for six foot nine, it might be an issue. But uh, for most men, this jacket style is just going to really rock. It's a great option. And uh, yeah, most guys don't even have this in their wardrobe and they're really missing out. Now, this next leather jacket style may make you look like a Russian gangster, but it works for a wide variety of body types, especially the heavier body builds, round build, pear shaped build, and that is going to be the leather blazer. Now, the leather blazer. Does it work for skinnier guys? So, so, I think it can look a little bit overpowering. And when it comes to where is it going to fit in your wardrobe, a lot of people don't even like the idea of a leather blazer. You know, it's called a blazer, but most blazers by definition are going to be made from a worsted wool material. And uh, so, you can argue. But that being said, I know a lot of guys pull this off in the city and it can take a beating. So, that's why a lot of guys like this jacket. It looks a little bit dressed up than most leather jackets. And if you do go with this style, make sure you go with a darker color. Now, what about the double ride? If you ride a Harley, if you ride an Indian, you've probably seen this style. You've got friends that maybe rock this style. I think when it comes to riding a bike, especially, you know, I can see why this has been an iconic piece. That being said, when it comes to body types that it complements, this one has a pretty bad track record. I would say if you've got a regular build, if you've got a thinner build, if you have a, you know, maybe even up to a stout build, get a good size jacket here. But if you've got a mid set, you've got a heavier midsection. This is not going to look great on you. And I think if you are relatively tall, if you are relatively short, this style also can really not complement your build. That being said, that debate, leather versus suede. Which jacket style is better? Guys, I go into it in detail here, a whole video in which I lay out the cons, the pros of each of the different fabric types. So, if you're trying to make a decision, leather versus suede, I've got you covered in this video, boom, right here click it. You will magically be transported to that next video, which is awesome.